This is Slough on the Great Western Main Line. Follow the markers over the footbridge to catch a train. Some doors are Great Western Express offers the ability to ride and drive both express and commuter trains along the Great Western Main Line between London Paddington and Reading. You are currently riding an Intercity 125 high-speed train formed of two Class 43 diesel locomotives hauling a selection of Mark IV carriages. This train has a top speed of 125 miles per hour. TrainSim World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now by exploring the exterior of this train. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the number keys. You've only travelled a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Great Western Express. You can marvel at the iconic London Paddington Terminus with its magnificent arched roof. Explore Old Oak Common Depot where many trains are serviced. Deliver freight to Hayes and West Drayton processing plants or haul containers in and out of London. Arrive into a fully modernised Reading station or visit the nearby Reading Depot, where the Class 166 trains are maintained. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, safety signage, and locate the missing dispatch buttons. Choose from freight, passenger, or high-speed trains, and start your journey today. Stopping at stations correctly and on time is a vital part of keeping the railway running smoothly. Let's take a look at bringing a Class 166 service to a stop at Twyford. To start, bring the train up to speed, set the reverser to forward and apply a small amount of power using the combined throttle brake to get us off the line.
Let the combined throttle brake back to off so that we can just coast. Driver judgment plays a big part towards a nice clean stop at stations, but you'll learn that after some practice of your own. <laughs> 